Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sora Darkchild, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Ultra Moon. Last time we took on our fourth and possibly hardest of uh, the uh, trial, the Fire Pokemon trial, and that was the only one so far that got me to do two tries. Reason I'm in uh, the starting area for Arcala Island is because after the fire Pokemon trainer was taken care of, this area opened up allowing us to go here and I believe I can get myself a fire stone for my Flareon and also a Thunderstone for my uh, Jolteon. So I'll have a full team. I don't want to fight, guys. Really, I don't want to fight. Let me get out. Why can't I run from these guys? If I had a repel, I would use it immediately, but I don't have one, so I can't. Stop missing. Come on, guys. This is not a good start. And I really don't want to get pissed off. I really don't. So please, hit the diglet. Missing. My accuracy can't go any lower now. Thank you. Jeez Louise. Starting to wish I had some, uh... Oh, hey, it's the Kahuna. You're gonna have me turn back, aren't you? Oh, Sapphire, was it? This cave really is something, you know? It's overflowing with these Pokemon called Diglett, and they're getting really out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. So, how's your island challenge going? Let's see which crystals you burned. Ooh, it looks like you've tackled everything but Akala's Island's last trial in lush jungle. Just relax and have fun with it. Your Pokemon will be happier that way, too. Yep, turn back. I was hoping to get two evolutionary stones before I took on that challenge, but oh well. First heal up, then we'll head over there. So far, they're making each episode be one trial each. Well, 
let's fly. Now then, let's take care of the last trial of Akala Island. Something tells me I'm not gonna like this. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Lush Jungle. The trial grounds for me, Marlo. You ready to get in some hot water? My trial is ready for you. If you're ready for it. I knew it the first time I saw you and your team. You've chosen only the finest ingredients. You are the one who got the sparkling stone straight from Tapu Koko, aren't you? I totally get it now. Okay then, here in Lush Jungle, it's time for Malo's trial to begin. Ah, the breath of the jungle. Oh, I can tell just what today's special should be. Yep, it's gonna be my s secret specialty. The Super Marshmallow, the Super Mellow Special. I'm gonna need you to find three ingredients for me. I'll need a mango, mango berry, honey, and a big root. Here you go. I brought you who a forage bag had to hold all the ingredients you'll be gathering in this trial. If you just tossed all of the trial ingredients into your own bag, it would make something alright. Something like a mellow mess, I guess. Let's go find the first ingredient right away. Jeez, those from Mantis. His, his, I wonder what they could tell how strong you are. You can find the mango berries around here. But you'll also find Fomantis living here because they love Fomantis berries too. If you make a mango Mago Berry, he that Fomantis had their eyes on, they might not look it too kindly. When you're done gathering ingredients here, just let me know. Let's see, Mango Berry. I hope it's the right ingredient. So about that ingredient, you sure that's the one you want to grab? 
If any Pokemon have their eyes on it, you might be taking something from the Pokemon who thinks belongs to them. And they may come attack you later. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I hope that'll be fine. I could use the experience anyway. And it's on to the next ingredient. Chop, chop. Let's keep moving. You can harvest honey from the flowers that bloom here in the jungle. But you'll also find plenty of Pokemon where there are lots of flowers. When you find the ingredients you're sure you want, come show them to me, okay? Hey, it's the fire trainer. What's he doing here? People say Pokemon are lured by lured in by the flowers and gather around them. Watch out when you see a bunch of flowers if you don't want to get attacked. These ingredients are important for all of this, but they'll also be very important to the Pokemon that live in the lush jungle. This thick home plum whom I'm going to give to Malo who too was the result of serious effort on the part of uh, my Marowak and I. I don't care if I get attacked, I'm very much want to get myself some experience. How am I going to do this? I'm guessing I have to get the big root from the Sudowoodo. Oh, Sapphire! Are you here for Malo's trial too? Yep. Oh, I was just taking a guess. Looks like you got lured in too, huh? I came because Mel asked me to bring her some fresh water. Okay. What? Could it be you want to leave the jungle? You'll have to start the trial over from scratch if that's okay with you. Uh, no, I do not want to do that. Okay, I want something from this pseudo-woodo. So about that ingredient, are you sure that's the one you want to grab? If any Pokemon had their eyes on it, you might be taking some po something from the Pokemon when things belong to them. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. I could use all the experience I'll get. All right, Zephyr, let's see what I like. That's what I like to see. Since you've got all the ingredients, let's head back to the entrance. Thanks for stopping by. Let me check the ingredients you've got. 
Let's see. That may go very first. Okay, that one was easy since it was a grass type. Whoops, he went and took the mango berry that Fomantis had its eye on, didn't you? All right then, let's put this mango berry back into the pot and there. We pour this fresh water that Lana brought us. Up next is the honey. That one might be a problem since it's a fairy type. Leaf seed. Oh boy. He brought the honey that comfy had been hoping to sip up, didn't you? Well, it's kind of hard to tell what Pokemon had their eye on it or not. Now to mix that honey in using the thick club that Kaiwa, Kaya uh, brought along. And last but not least, the big root. Sudowoodo. You are a rock type Pokemon, so I need to switch out for my Vaporeon. I hope I can one-shot it. If not, then that's fine. A little sliver of health left? Holy cow! That'll finish her. You did good, even though you got fainted. Okay. Now then, let's replace Flareon's f f Ember for a Fire Spin. Hopefully that'll be useful for the Totem Pokemon. That was Sidowoodo. They like to put up big roots on, around their feet to look more like real trees. I guess this one wanted its big roots back. Finally, it's finished. 
with one last pinch of my super special secret spice. Ta-da! The super mellow special. It's all done and it smells delicious. A unique aroma begins to waft around the area. You feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within the underbrush. Behind you. That's the totem Pokemon. Alorementus. A Laurentis. That's a grass type. I hope I can take you out quickly. One hit! Holy cow! Flareon, you just made this a good day. Wow, you're even stronger than I thought. Huh, you really drew the best out of your team. You've even quieted down that L Laurentis. It's the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle. You battled your way through the jungle, through the living Pokemon living here in the jungle, and to get me he, the ingredients I needed. You and your Flareon there make a fabulous team. Yes, even back at Wella Volcano Park, my Marowak didn't stand a chance. Uh, yeah it did. It stood more than a chance against me. Nor did the Ranquinid that I had trained so carefully. Both of your Pokemon hunts stood well good of a chance against me. It's just the Marowak that was able to beat me. Well, looks like you cleared all three of Ocala's trials. An amazing trainer like you, who even cleared my super hard trial, definitely deserves this. Now, I wonder. Let me show you how to use the grass type Z move. You go grass, okay. Here, watch me. Since you've cleared my trial, Saphir, why don't you try raising some Pokemon from Lush Jungle? Oh, here. Have some nest balls. If there's a moss rock, there's only one Pokemon I can get from this area. You won't... Okay. Huh? Hey, Lunantis didn't finish the its food. Well, can't let it go to waste. Lana, Kai, you guys should have some. Huh? Um, I'm pretty full right now. I, uh, just ate a berry, yeah. 
And that food you cook is suited for Pokemon taste buds, right? I think it's probably best to save it for when Lunanus wants some more. You think? You think? Olivia says she thinks it's delicious. I think people would enjoy food cooked for a totem Pokemon too. Your guy's loss. Well, I guess I'll just go take this to Olivia. Uh, see you around, Sephir. Hello, Professor. Woo, what a sweet smell I smell drifting my way. Hey, could it be a tasty Mellow special? I heard you cleared Mellow's test, yeah? All right, then. I have a present for you. This TM right here is Smart Strike, a move that we'll never miss. It, there will be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to take on your adventure to make your ex adventure brighter. There's a facility, yeah, that I want you to go check out on your way on your island challenge. The Dimensional Research Lab. Uh, let's get out on over there with extreme speed. Guess I should congratulate you on con clearing all three of Akala's island trials, too. Congrats. Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna Olivia's Grand Trial. Olivia is an expert user on rock-type Pokemon. You're gonna need to catch some grass-type Pokemon in Lush Jungle to add to your team. Whenever you're ready, keep for a Grand Trial, come see me at the Dimensional Hole Research Lab. It's down past Route 6, yeah. Just... But just ask Rotom if you need some help. Okay, heal my Pokemon. Then I gotta go look for some certain rock that might evolve one of my Eevees into a Leafeon. As I feel that's gonna be the next Pokemon I'm gonna need for this next uh, Grand Trial. I mean, Vaporeon's good, but it doesn't hurt to have a uh, backup. So let's add my uh, supposedly future uh, Pokemon in there. Now then, is there a moss rock in there that I can use? If I can, that'll be great. Let's see, moss rocks. Over there. There's gotta be one around here somewhere. Is this the moss rock? If it is, I'm turning on my experience share. That way, when my Eevee in my party levels up, it'll evolve into a Leafeon.
All right, so yeah. Nope, that wasn't the uh, moss rock I'm looking for. Well, just better keep looking. gonna find that moss rock. I think I just found it. Alrighty. Yes, there we go. What? Saria is evolving. Evolving into a Leafeon. Congratulations, Saria evolved into a Leafeon. And I've got some serious work to do with you. Now, for the moment, my team is temporarily complete. Switch back some Pokemon. I can get Flareon out of my party for the moment.
All right, now that my Pokemon are all healed up. Remember that tunnel we went to? Yeah, I can go there now. But I want to go to the flag here. What's over here? Oh, it's Lily. No, go Nebby. You, you splash. I was just acting like I was Sapphire. You, you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. Seeing that pained me he as much as if I was the one getting hurt. But if I could become as strong as Hao and Sapphire are, then maybe things would be different. Sapphire, hello. I feel like it's been a while since we last met. There's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, did you know? And the professor is waiting to meet you. Uh, how are your trials? It must be quite trying to do three in a row. No problem. Goodness, really? It wasn't any trouble for you to take all three he Akala Island Trials? Well, the first two, but the third one was no problem. I suppose that explains it. The reason you look so confident and understood by Vaporeon there, I mean... Do I have to go inside? I guess so. Alrighty. There, honey. Oh, hi. This here's Professor Burnett. She runs the Dimensional Research Lab, yeah. And she's also my wife. You're Sephia, right? Lily told me about you. She said you were a reliable sort. Three months ago, we found Lily lying on the beach. Cosmog was in her bag, also unconscious. Hmm? No how today? How? He's out doing his own thing. But he'll be a real... But he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a kahuna, just like his old... Just like old Hala before him. You really think so? Whoa! Well, yeah, I really do. Good to see you again, Hal. Well, it's been a while since I last saw you. Anyhow, well, I brought Sapphire here because I wanted you to tell her about some of uh, mysterious phenomena here in Alola. I'd be happy to. The mysteries of Alola, huh? Then you've got to mean the Ultra Wormhole. It's exe extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens up in the sky over Alola. It appears that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. 
The reason that people think they are may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There is also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? Fearsome Pokemon? Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the pe Pokemon that appear from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beasts, and they were feared. If the stories are to be believed, the guardian deities of the islands fought desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legends and folk tales. It's hard to know how much is true. But I would be very happy if I could somehow un unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We record several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions but in books. But you can find them in on the bookshelves in this lab. Okay. You want to know more about what happened three months ago? Well, I wanted to learn more about Nebby. Meaning, I mean, about Cosmog. So I decided to come speak with Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way and ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story, he staying up all night to hear it all. And then she even got her husband, Professor Cookley, to lend me his love to stay in. And she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins too. Professor Burnett has been so kind and she's still helping me trying to find a way to get Nebby back to his own home. She's been like, like a real mother to me. Okay. Being able to go to more places really makes it feel like you're going along with your partner, Pokemon, huh? It's pretty great. How about it, Sapphire? If an Ultra Beast are really out there, I wonder what kind of moves they can use. You finished all three of Akala's trials, woo! And now comes the big match against Olivia, the island Kahuna. The grand trial. Good luck. Olivia's house is just past Diglett's tunnel and it's in Kony Kony City. I still have some things I want to talk about the professor about, so I'll stay here. Being able to go oh, to do more her places really makes it feel like you're growing along with your partner. Her Pokemon, huh? It's pretty great. Well, I'm out. What's this now? Oh boy, a wormhole just opened. What was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky. Hey, Sapphire. So you've made it through all three captain's trials, yeah? 
then you should go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives in the town at Pastiglis Tunnel. We know. We were already told that. Pastiglis Tunnel is... Let's see. From here, it's kind of near the Pokemon Center. It's easy to walk right past it. So, also keep your eyes peeled. Now, it's... Malasada time for me. There's the tunnel. Now, so that I don't deal with those dicklets again. Where are those repels that I just bought? There you are. That should be helpful. Now then. There's Olivia. So, how's your island challenge going? Let me see which crystals you've earned. Oh, look at you, Sapphire. Nice lurk. Herc, I see you've even passed Malo's trial. It's about time you had some fun with me. The Dicklet have settled down, too. If you're as strong as you appear, you should be able to take it, make it through this cave. At the other end of it, you'll find Kony Kony City. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. Firestone, just what I needed. Now then. My actual Flareon. Pyra. Guess I don't need Tauros anymore. Dusk Ball, nice. You. With Olivia in charge, we finally managed to make, make some highway here against those Diglett. Oh, Alola. We were, we're members of the Aether Foundation. And we work hard to support Pokemon construction, conservation. It seems like Teen Skull was responsible for the Diglett in this cave getting all riled up and bringing them 
all up to the surface. Oh, this is... Team Skull is this group of troublemakers, you see. They seem to delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally lives to elaborate systems of underground tunnels holes that make years to dig out. We're here to ensure that they ruin and return to their tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many of them. Some of the dicklets are still stuck on or near the surface, though, so be careful. Thanks. Well, that was a bad idea. Oh, fudge, there they are. Ah, oh, no way! Just when things were starting to heat up, yo! I got surrounded by Diglett and beat up, yo! Yo, since when can Diglett use beat up? I'm so mad that now I want to beat up on some fools. Don't be mad because you were the fool who was dumb enough to be here right now. Sapphire. Ah, oh, I was wondering who you were playing around with uh, without me and it's Team Skull you want some? that's how we say hello Oh, nice knowing you punks thankfully both of them only have one Pokemon Okay, I can take care of the one on the right. You got an Eevee. Haven't evolved it yet, Hal. And you're attacking the one that I was going for. That's what my opponents, buddy. And you paralyzed me. Gotta cure that uh, paralysis by pampering him. Grass whistle? What the heck does that do? The user plays a pleasant melody that lulls the target to a deep sleep. That could be useful. Or not, because I just accidentally chose not to learn it. Are we headed to the grave, yo? Will our bones be laid bare, yo? The gloom that involves us like a fog, we can't and seem to shake it off. Now to heal my uh, Vaporeon of uh, Paralysis.
That's better. Yo, step up. Uh, enough with the beating up, yo. We may not uh, be t uh, trying to take over the world or anything, but we're still hard as bone out here. See you on the flip side. Man, Sapphire, when I fought with you, it's like my Pokemon feel more at ease. You really are some kind of trainer. That's it. I just gotta give you something. Max Ether. Okay. Max Ether will sort her all of the double P on one of your Pokemon's moves. You know? It's pretty great, right? It's pretty much like those Roto PP restores. Hers you can get from the Roto Lotto. Yeah. Now I'm gonna have to have some more fun with those Diglett. Yeah, see ya. I'll see you later then. Oh, a trial going trainer, are you? You are. Luca is the name. I travel the world and may he, many lands do I visit for my own private reasons. Alola is a nice place and so very peaceful. Most ideal for vacationing. Vacay. I was just in Konikoni City where I got a most unusual stone from Miss Olivia's shop. No one here is so terrible as to try he, to create a new world or liberate all Pokemon from their Pokemon trainers. Yes, peaceful indeed. Though concerns I have about these those reported sightings of the infamous Pokemon Mafia. Uh, forgive me for keeping you. I will give you this Thunderstone if you forgive my rudeness. I bought three without thinking. Now I can get a Jolteon. Took me long enough. Do have a good adventure, my trial going young trainer friend. Uh, no, we can take that off now. Go around you. And we're in the next town. What an interesting town. And I'm just curious for what clothes they've got here, so... I'll have to save up my money for that. But, uh... This is the place where we're supposed to take on the Island Kahuna for next time and let's re let's play Pokemon Ultra Moon. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you want. Ring the bell if you want to see more videos. We do new, more videos every, we do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and occasionally Saturday and Sundays. Till the next video, this is Sword Archell, signing off. Have a good night, folks.